Hey guys, it's Jazzy Ray here and I'm back for another reading. Now this reading is a little bit different because this guy already has his chart and he already understands the plants. He just needs to, you know, figure out what to do with all the information. So I'm not sure if he knows how like each sign coordinates with the planet. So I'm just going to quickly go through it. This is for BJ. Um, BJ, BG, BG, Twitter, okay? Um, he wants to know his career path. You said you wanted to know what you should be doing. So, like I said, I'm going to like just jump through the planets because you already know what they mean. And then I'm going to talk about like your entire chart and how that applies to what you should be doing. Because I have an idea of what you should be doing. Um, if you guys would like a reading, um, they're $20. However, if you already have your chart and you just need it broken down, $15. Hit me up. Cash app. But when you hit me up for future references to anybody who wants a reading and you want to hit me up don't pay me don't cash at me until after i do the reading okay after i post everything just so you know i'm legit like i'm not scamming you send me the money later after you watch it for because you might not you might watch it and be like you didn't answer not one damn question and I'm not paying for this, which is fine. So that's why I say wait till afterwards. You wait, you did it before, which is fine. But next time, I should have specified that. So if you want a reading, cash at me. But cash at me after I put the reading out. After I after I do everything, okay? Just so y'all know, I ain't playing y'all, okay? So your sun sign is Libra. Now you know about the plants. I'm not about to explain the plants. So Libra is masculine. It you know it's you should know it's an air sign and it has a cardinal quality. I don't know if you know what that means, but cardinal means action. Putting in work. Okay. Um what about Libra? What about Libra? It's opposite, it's Aries. Um, it's its ruler is Venus, the planet of love. So you, Lib what can I say about Libras? Libras are charismatic. They are charming. They are you know with the with the scales you know balanced and when they lose balance they know how to get back and you know they know how to check themselves and get back into balance that's just something with libra um libras are into the arts so keep that in mind they're into the arts and because it's an air sign they they love to be around people they love to go they they libras love to be around people and they look they like to you know be able to communicate and things like that so keep that in mind so your mercury is also libra i might even go in order <laughs> let me just jump to moon and then i'll go to mercury so your moon is in pisces you know how you should know how the moon works okay so pisces is a um it has a mutable quality which means easy to adapt and changeable energy um it's a water sign and as you know and it's a feminine sign and it's opposite is Virgo and the ruler is Neptune planned of fantasies and magic <laughs> okay okay so we have the same moon so you're emotional as hell <laughs> okay you're emotional as hell but you're also creative and you're very intuitive you're very intuitive keep that in mind because that could help you with your career search uh they're very creative you know they're heavy into the arts if you take that away from them especially when they're emotional they have they, they come up with the most stuff when they're emotional so it's like they have an emotional any anything that they do it's a it has some emotional attachment to it as far as the arts go and if you take the arts away they have nothing left so all right let's go back to mercury so mercury is libra Again, you know, Libra, you know, you, Libras can work well with people. So you definitely want to pick a career that allows you to work and communicate with people. You don't want to be in the cubicle. That's one job you do not want. No cubicle jobs. No cubicle jobs. You need to be out talking to people. All right, so your Venus is Virgo. Venus is how we love. Virgo is a feminine sign. It's an earth sign. Also has a mutable quality, um, which means changeable energy. Um, this is this is about love and stuff. 
I don't really know how that applies to careers, but oh yeah, and it's planet, it's ruler, it's it's Mercury. Um, you're the perfect lover, like you want the perfect lover, and you are the perfect lover. You would do whatever it takes to please your partner. However, if you've done everything you could do with your partner, clearly it's not you, <laughs> and it still doesn't work out. Like clearly, it's not you, it's them. And Virgo is gonna leave, so you you're definitely like I, I I do whatever I can for my lover, but like if I if if if, if it still ain't good enough, I'm gone. <laughs> I'm not wasting more no more time. I don't know what that has to do with your job, but I just thought to say that. Now you're Mars, so your Mars is also Virgo. So Mars is act well, it is. It's action. It's aggression. It's work ethic, sex, all that. So it's a Virgo. So you're a perfectionist. You know, when 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 you when you, when you have a, a task or a job to do, you you hands on. Like you don't you're not playing around. And Virgos have a good work ethic. You know, they really do. Um they'll do whatever they have to do to get to, to get a paycheck. <laughs> as long as they wanna do it, of course. But you know. Um anger wise Virgos are pretty chill and laid back until you push their buttons. When you push a Virgo so far, Virgos will get crazy, okay? And sex-wise, again, same thing applies. Um, wanting to please their partner and do whatever their partner wants them to do. You're probably constantly asking questions during sex, like, do you like this? How does that feel? Does it make you feel good? Not because you want to prove that you the shit but it's because you want to see if your partner really likes it so you know what to do next time so yeah so that's that's that uh all right so i did all that i could tell you about your saturn because that has to do with discipline and scorpio is your saturn and you know scorpio that's water and it's elements i say the elements water uh it's it's a fixed quality which means it's hard for them to change energies they're very set in their ways uh it, it, it has two rulers pluto mars pluto is the planet of darkness and death mars is the planet planet of aggression and sex okay uh it is a feminine sign it's polar opposites taurus and saturn represents discipline so I would say Scorpio, as long as they trust themselves and trust the people around them and trust the choices they make and things like that, they're pretty, they're pretty disciplined. They can be. If the trust is there, they can be, you know. But sometimes Scorpio can be a bit much. I, I, I don't know. But as long as they trust themselves, they, they, they can, they trust the process, then they can be disciplined. Alright, so I'm looking at your houses. I looked at your whole chart. And I'm going to tell you right now, before I even took notes, just to make sure I knew what I was talking about, I'm already looking and I'm like, okay, he definitely needs to do something with either art, art, he needs to, he, he needs to do something that requires him to, to communicate with people and work with people, or he needs to pick a career that allows him to use his intuition. That's what I got, pretty much. Pretty much, that's what I got. And I looked it up, just because I went based off your sun and your mercury. These are the jobs that came up. So, human resources, detective, lawyer, counselor, recruiter, stylist, art dealer, event planner, retail buyer, and interior design. So, I don't know about that stylist part, but maybe you can be a barber. <laughs> but, but... What this tells me is that I was right. Like that that that's that's what came up cuz I had a feeling like I seen counselor in my head, like counselor or something that has something to do with art. Something that allows you to be creative, but you're also communicating with people. Or my other guess would be to for you cuz your um second house is Gemini. Gemini's you have a lot of Gemini and Sagittarius as far as these houses go, which tells me you like to be your own boss. You you, you don't really want to work for people. And if you do work for people, it has to be something that you really want to do in order for you to work for other people. But 
I was gonna say maybe you should start your own business. Pick something that you're like interested in and turn it into a business. Because that's what I'm getting. Like this is what I'm getting right here. You know, and uh, your second house determines about more so like what you should be doing and how you should be living your life and things like that. So I also took, when it came to careers, career wise, since it's Gemini, you can make money very quickly, you know, quick money, again, no cubicle jobs, <laughs> start a business or have a side hustle. I mean, some illegal activity came into play, came into mind when I was reading this, but um, hopefully you went into that, but quick money, quick money, quick money, fast money. Um, and I also said like, you should be good, like if you have a second house in Gemini that you will be good at writing. So journalism, maybe maybe freelance writing or something. Um, a job that requires you to move around. Move around because Geminis are always moving around. So definitely that. And then it says something about trading skills. So you could have a job like being like a salesman or something. You know, something that just requires you to talk to people and, and move around and you're not stuck in a cubicle all day <laughs> and it has to be something that's, that allows you to be creative because Libras are very creative and then you have moon and Pisces so you definitely have to you know work a career that allows you to share ideas and put those ideas into action because Libra is an action it has at that, that cardinal quality so you definitely want a career that's gonna allow you to put in work and make that dream come alive you know that's it that's what i got you know that's what i got i hope that answers your questions um if you have any more questions you can hit me up um but yeah i hope that helps because i never did a reading like this before so i'm a little nervous but yeah <laughs> so if you guys want greetings hit me up again when you when you schedule a reading schedule when you set up with me don't cash at me until after i give the reading just so y'all know i'm not scamming you okay so just wait until afterwards and plus these readings take a while to do so you gotta give me some time here so that's another reason why i say wait until afterwards that way you won't think I'm scared. Like, like if it takes me a couple of weeks to put the readings out, you won't be like, damn, like she taking all day. She, I think she's scamming me. Now you won't be thinking that if you didn't pay me. You see what I'm saying? Just wait until after I put it out. Then cash at me, okay? So, yeah, hit me up. Every, everything to contact me is down below. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.